How's it going everyone? Hope you're having a great day out there. Welcome to the channel. My name's Garrett and today I'm going to be stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit. Thanks in part to Movo. Now what Movo have done is sent me out their new iVlog One smartphone video kit featuring the VXR10 Pro mic. The reason I say this is out of my realm, as you guys know, I shoot little to no mobile videography or mobile photography, but I don't wanna take that away from anyone who does, who follows this channel or someone who has come across this video. I wanna give this kit a fair chance. And I was excited when Movo sent this out because once again, this is, this is a fun challenge for me. Now to keep everything fair, Movo does not get to see my review before I post it here on YouTube. So you guys will see my raw thoughts, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. I'm gonna go ahead and pop open the case see what's inside go outside and do some test shots come back and get my final thoughts let's go ahead and hop into it Okay guys, so now that we have the case open, I'm gonna show you everything that comes in the iVlog kit. Starting in the top left-hand corner, we have the phone clamp. It will mount horizontal or vertical, depending on what platform you need it for, whether it be YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. To the right of that, we have the Bluetooth remote. Very good for starting and stopping your video footage or taking photos. We have the Movo VXR10 Pro mic. It's gonna be better than any of your onboard phone mic. We have a three-powered LED with a little bit of diffusion on the front of it so that it's not such a harsh light source. It also has a cold shoe mount on the top of it for mounting extra accessories. Down to the left of that, we have the three-legged desktop tripod, very similar to the Manfrotto tripod that they make for desktops. This little tripod is actually built very well. It's a metal construction, very sturdy. We also have a stubby grip if you're not wanting to use the tripod. This is just a little shorty grip that screws into the bottom of the clamp. The Movo wide-angle lens, I believe this is an 18 millimeter lens. Don't know how I like that yet. Uh, my iPhone actually has a pretty wide angle lens on it, but we'll give it a whirl either way. Down to the left of your screen, we also have the extension tube for the three-legged tripod. You can actually thread this into your mount here and you'll get a little bit more height out of your phone. And we have the audio cables over here in the right-hand corner, 3.5 millimeter audio cable. Mine came with a lightning adapter for my iPhone. And then up at the top of the case, and you can't see it because it's out of frame, but we have a dead cat, we have the shock mount for the mic, and we have a cleaning cloth plus the clamp for the wide angle lens. And I really like this case. It's lightweight, it's got good phone protection for all the accessories in here, and Movo packaged it all very nicely. So let's go ahead and rig all this up to my phone and we're gonna go outside and do some real world testing. All right guys, so I have my iPhone 11 rigged up here and already I can tell you that the weight difference is significant. I weighed both rigs before I left the house and the EOS R fully rigged out as you're seeing right there with the Gorillapod, uh, Rode Video Micro, and the <laughs> Beastly Tamron 24 to 70. Weighs right under six pounds. And the iPhone with the little Movo tripod, even with the mic on top, only weighs just under two pounds. So that's about a four pound difference between the two rigs, which whenever you're hand holding everything and if you're trying to vlog, that's a significant amount of weight. And with that, I really think that Movo have knocked it out of the park with this kit. I think that it caters to a crowd of mobile videographers, mobile photographers who don't want to fool with big rigs, with editing, log footage. They just want to pull a phone out of their pocket, throw it in a cradle and go. I think this rig really caters to that crowd. It even inspires me a little bit because one of my biggest holdups as a creator is if the shot doesn't look perfect or if I don't get my colors right, if I've not exposed my footage right, I get pretty frustrated and it slows my content down. It slows my ability to put content out fast. And that's something that whenever you've got a setup that is fast, it's easy, you hit play, you edit in whatever mobile software you prefer, and then put it out there, you can put out content so much faster. One thing that I've not gotten to test with this kit is a little three powered light. It's a small light source. It's gonna do the job whenever you're in the dark. It's not gonna be obviously a, a beautiful soft box by any means like we would use in a studio. But once again, Movo knows the demographic that they're catering to with this kit. And that's gonna be something that's more than sufficient if you're doing mobile photography. Whew. Finally found a bench. I've not done cardio in a long time. All the audio that you've heard so far has been coming from the VXR10 Pro mic. I am gonna unplug it really quick just so you can hear the phone audio. This is an audio test using the onboard mics with my iPhone 11 Pro. One thing that I don't really like about phone microphones or the speakers that are built into the phones is everything sounds kind of muted like you're in a bucket. 
Uh, so it's definitely good to have a pro style mic. And once again, this is the audio with the VXR10 Pro Movo mic. Uh, mine does have the lightning adapter for my iPhone 11 Pro and hopefully you guys can tell a difference. I've got the dead cat on top which really cuts down on a lot of wind noise. This is something that's so important when it comes to good video is good audio. And I know I've been guilty before of having bad audio and that will kill a good video in a heartbeat. All right guys, so I'm gonna head back to the car. I think this walk is over. Right now I have the 18 millimeter uh, wide angle lens on there. Once again, not sure if it's really my forte because my phone does have a wide angle lens on it. But I think if you have an older phone that doesn't have like a 15 millimeter or a 20 millimeter wide angle lens, not a bad deal. Um, it's actually pretty cool. I've got it over the, I think the 28 millimeter lens right now. I'm not sure what all focal lengths are on the iPhone actually. I think the normal lens is a, is a 28 mil though. But anyways, we're gonna head back to the office to give my final thoughts. Okay, so I'm going to be upfront with you guys and say I was actually pretty surprised at how enjoyable it was to use my phone. And that's something that I hardly ever say. But I think having a kit like the iVlog One kit definitely helps. With it having the cradle, with you not actually having to handhold your phone, with it having a good mic, that makes such a difference when it comes to shooting video. Not really a big deal on the photo side. And also having a neat little tripod as well to be able to set the phone up wherever you need to set it to shoot your shots. So with all that being said, who do I think this kit is for? Like I said earlier, I believe this kit is for someone who is just starting out in videography, in photography, uh, maybe wanting to start a YouTube channel, maybe wanting to start a TikTok channel, Instagram, whatever it is. I think this kit definitely accentuates a phone nicely and you have some stability with a tripod you have a bluetooth remote so you can start and stop your video you have a good mic for audio things that most phones don't come with right out of the box definitely think this is a kit that can help somebody get inspired to go out and shoot and not worry about having just a phone now a couple of pros with this kit and i was actually once again surprised are the build quality number one the desktop tripod is a metal construction. It's very sturdy. I didn't have any problems with it, nor did I have any problems with the ball head. Sometimes with your smaller tripods, the ball heads are a little bit loose, but with this one, I had zero trouble at all. The VX R10 Pro mic, I can't speak highly enough about. I, as you guys heard in the test, it made my phone audio sound a hundred times better than my stock iPhone speakers. The last pro with this kit is the price point. Now, Movo currently have this kit priced at $130, which for a complete Movo, kit is not a bad deal at all if you think about it most of your smaller mics that you go out and buy on Amazon or even directly from these mic providers are anywhere between 50 and 70 dollars for a good desktop tripod you're gonna spend anywhere between 20 and 40 dollars depending on the brand and I'm talking quality stuff I'm not talking about plastic stuff that's 15 dollars it's gonna break every three weeks quality stuff so those two things right there alone are already at the $100 mark. And I think the extra accessories that Movo puts in there, along with the nice foam carrying case, definitely make a difference and definitely make the price well worth it. Now, there were a couple of cons with this kit, in my opinion. I do wish that the cradle for the phone was also made out of metal. I understand why it's not. Obviously, that's going to save on weight and it could save on production costs too. Even though it is plastic, it's built decently well, but there are some times where I wish everything that was in that kit was metal. The other graphic that I have with the kit are for me personally, I do not need an 18 millimeter fisheye lens. I know I said that already. I wish Movo would instead take that part of the kit and do maybe an ND filter holder or some sort of ND for the phone. That would be sweet. I'm one of those people who I don't like using the stock phone app whenever I'm shooting video. I don't really think it gives you a lot of flexibility with settings and being able to control your own exposure, control your own shutter speed. I would like to see Movo create some sort of mobile ND kit and include it in this for people who do want to have a cinematic look even on their phone. But with all that being said, overall, it was a very enjoyable experience. My arms are thanking me. And I'm thanking Movo once again for sending this kit out for review. If you want one for yourself, I'm gonna drop a link down below in the description. Now, this is an affiliated link. Anything that you guys purchase does help the channel out a lot. And I greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this community. Y'all have a good one and we'll see you in the next.